Andrin, there's a couple of questions above your head for it. Yeah, I was uh, I was looking at the brood possibility earlier in the draft. We were actually saying right after the second ban phase, this could be a pick for Virtus Pro. It could also be a good laning situation that I do believe VP actually didn't expect. I don't think they were thinking it was even possible that Complexity would run an Ember Spirit off lane. Um, they did go for that lane spot. Yeah, mid lane, yeah. Well, there's your first kill. So Storm Spirit, you had to wait for that fissure as long time, but it finally came in from FNG. This lane is lost, actually, now for Complexity. If, uh, if G gets a good rune, yeah, he's going to get a double damage. He can solo him now. G's level 6, the Storm's level 4. Four and a half. And this is what happens when the, when the mid lane gets killed off this early. Get a big lead for your own mid laner. And is this also a time when you can actually just look for Queen of Pain to head bottom? The, you probably assume there's going to be dire like, vision there, but for this point, there's no kill potential at all. Do you. Uh, like, it's complexity waiting until Virtus Pro try something and then they move him in, like bottom lane, Phobos. Oh, that's some quick burst. They actually got him. Yeah, Searing Chains into Line Strike Array and with a level 2 sal Slave, it's a lot of damage. Yeah, when they have, when they have the Sentry, and now that, of course... Now it's that a TP. Up, Top lane, the Fisher is on Undying. He drops the Tombstone in the Soul Rip. It's nowhere near enough to stay alive. So the Tombstone gets triggered and will be brought down here. 150 gold for G. Mm -hmm. It's a level 4 Tombstone already at minute 7. Not to mention his kill, the second of the game and the second for Virtus Pro. He's up to 3.8k net worth. He's a thousand more net worth oh, than the Storm Spirit. And yep. Freak. Tusk is trapped, and God needs to beat him down. Shadow Strike or Radiant something. Like, Z Freak's got nowhere to run here. He doesn't want to use it. In fact, the Snowball's going to come in. I'm fairly certain that's targeted on God. Yep, there's your Snowball up. He's dragging him as far in as possible, but closer towards the edges of Scream. Barely reaches him in time, but still. Now the third kill coming in for the Queen of Pain. And Storm was not interested in getting involved. Had 300 mana, no bottle on him. No soul ring. Couldn't have made any difference there. So mana, he cannot get behind that tier one tower and still have mana for control. He's also walking through two wards right now. VP have really good coverage as Fly is gonna get solo down here at bottom. It was just a matter of time before Phobos managed to do it. The first attempt he had, Fly managed to avoid it. He committed so heavily for that though. But this like time directly behind the tier two tower, but all for him. <laughs> They're not going for it. Instead, it's going to be top lane. Uh, Fly coming in for the room, being picked up, thrown down. Lil, who's still been holding onto those stolen shards for a good 30 seconds, just easily mops up the laner. Let's them go and steal Slave and uses that one too. The Undying TP is up to try and do something about it. Hasn't been revealed yet. In fact, Lil and God are on a bit of a ward mission. Actually, bottom lane. There's that Orchid attack from Phobos. Still got spawn spiralings and Z Freak should actually pop from the Orchid attack. A good kill for Virtus Pro. And with a big army of spilings like this, they can start beating into this T1 tower very shortly. They are just moving them around the map. The, the TP from Undying ultimately ends in the death of Tusk. And he had no business being in the top lane. He, he can't kill the PL anyway. He's not assisting in it. Their support cast, it's the Tusk and Lina who have to set up the ganks. We've got one kill on Fly. That's the only kill Complexity has. And Bottom it's, lane, it's simply necessary. jump in by Swindle, going down on Phobos, but they need detection. The dust, it doesn't actually hit him, and now FNG with the stuns. The Yule Scepter actually breaking off while well, they thought he was breaking off the Orchid, but there's two of them where they came from. So Storm able to jump away, very, very low on life, but the Snowball's going to make sure the Tuskar's going to drop. Rubik steals nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> he got Snowball. He stole empty space. He it got... is a Snowball, though. Yeah. He's, he's got an initiation factor, but that just shows you what happens with that Yule Scepter. When they go for the kills, it's super ambitious and very unlikely kills. Ultimate as well, the Sonic Wave, you can Yule's up for the Echo Slam. He was looking for the instant kill, and FNG got it at the same time. You've just lost Lina, a solo kill for Phobos on the bottom lane. Now he adds his pressure into the tier 2 tower. Moon wants to defend the mid, but even then he's got to be careful as well. The top lane, you've got Illidan. Even when you think you've got him trapped, it's just doppelganger away. A slide of fist from Z's, and there's almost no effect. Like, there's just no damage. He's got both of his damage dealing, uh, deal, damage deal items back in his stash at the moment. Bro, bro, uh, the broadsword and the claymore, but he doesn't have slots he can really keep them on him. He needs everything else he's got to try and live while Z Freak, Illidan, he can just chase this one down. There's enough of him right now. The Sigil, he's got both Doppelganger as well as Lance. There's yeah, Snowball away. He goes down the Mud Golems. Is the TP going to be in time? One more attack from Illidan, he'll get it in time. 
Lotus Pro moving beautifully, and even the Fisher block. Noon's in so much trouble. He'll drop the tombstone, battling up against Illidan. But then with the Orchid on him, there's no more to cave. There's no Soul Rip available. Swindle, he can try and go for the jump. But always going to find his creeps. Meanwhile, Dyer's on the bottom tower. lane, the tier three towers down to half life. Virtus Pro are moving beautifully across this map. I think you said it perfectly, Cinderin. Complexity are just getting outplayed. Dyer's bottom they tower have got to start attack. taking some initiative. I, I, I was going to say, how long are they going to just accept the situation and not go for some Dyer's sort of super aggressive play before it's too late? There's a smoke Dyer's sitting on the tusk that he could use attack. together with Lina and go look on their PL. It's a when you're in this position with a Brute pick, the game is much easier to play than the first game they had to win. Swindle, you're at a very long way here, and then you'll step her up. He's got a little bit of life, 1,100, but the Earthshaker sitting on the rim of the fissure throws out the Echo Slam and finds the kill. And now God looks for another one of his own. Orchid's over on the Tusker, throws out the Sonic Wave, hits on three, the Mech Charge from Moon's gonna keep Deep Freak alive uh, just a fraction of a second longer. He still pops to the Orchid damage, and now Lil's even gonna find Moon grabbing Soul Rip at this point. That is a very good spell to steal. But you're keeping him, in, you're keeping him occupied. The Tier 2 tower was just taken on the top lane. This Tier 3 tower is solely being chipped away, and this is the way you want to see a brew by the beam played. You're in, you're doing damage. This type of game, you're going to see complexity just keep running from lane to lane to lane, struggling to defend. Here's a jump. Storm going after God. The Snowball's coming in as well. They all the Suns and, and the Laguna Blade committed. Finally. They finally get something. But meanwhile, up bottom, Phobos took out the Tier 3 tower. Up on top, Illidan is actually starting to chip away at the Tier 3 tower as well. Complexity, they TP down a bottom lane, which is why this tower lost half of its life. You take the Quap. That's fantastic. It's just too late. Like, the yep. place they... The play they finally got together there with both Tusk and Lina combining in for that gank uh, Z should have happened 15 minutes ago. He just got scouted out. At the same time, like Ember, it's going to be Z Freak teeping away to the wave clear constantly. He needs to push out. Tower has been and then just disengage and go back. Here we go. Lennon's going to force him back with a defusal charge. And wow, oh. Echo Slam on bottom, but the Yule set from Swindle. <laughs> they got more than enough damage to finish the job. Swindle will drop. And Virtus Pro. Inch by inch, they are taking this game from complexity. But the Ember, as you said, he's still the critical, the critical tar. And they go again. The Orchid over on Moon. At least he's got himself a Glimmer Cape looking to try and turn around here, try and slow down Phobos. That's a big army of Spilings. He's going to get the same back with the Untying Minions. So many Minions as they go in deeper, but they can't get the control over on Phobos. If Illidan was still up top now, he would have dealt some pretty big damage. Oh, they're back in again. Effigy! Laguna Blade takes care of the Earthshaker. Now they get the Walrus Punch on God. A blink away in time. Down a 300 life. Bowls up quickly. BP need to be careful. They don't pull again. He's got 23 armor. Like, how do you even kill this, this cat? There really isn't an answer right now. They can kill Illidan from full health if he's next to, like... Six of his oh, the Echo Slam! FNG with the Fissure of Five Man Fissure! The Soul Spirit will have to buy back as they snowball after Illidan, but as Phobos has gone after Moon, he's gonna bring down the Undying and they move over to Fly. This could be it right now as the bottom racks. Finally, the range one is brought down. Well, the buyback will come out from Lena Fly. Back to the world of living, but can he find an opening? The Sentry Wars down so they can see Phobos, but he BKBs. God, looking for that strike, gonna go into Z Freak. Right now on the shoulders of the Ember, but Complexity, they're trying to find an opening. A solo FNG would be wonderful, the smoke's gonna break, they find something better, they find God. Can they kill him with the Kuna Blade? God's low, no blink away, he cannot get out in time. The Tusker takes over 1,000 gold for the kill, and they want more. FNG, Swindle jumps up, FNG's gone east, but that's a, that's a very dead earth shaker. He can't get himself out of this trouble that he's in. Meanwhile, on bottom though, you got the pick up on the Ember Spirit as well as the Orchid Moon. He's the man that's in trouble, Phobos, man, this one, but Fly's come back, and now v VP, they've gone in a little bit too deep. They need even more control on this crew, but the BKP will now wear out. Sentry Wars are down, they've got the vision. Complexity, they're fighting back. Phobos drops. The middle lane still being pressured. The Swindermill is jumping back from the PL, who double king is away. Side of Fitzering Chain, he can't find the real one. But Complexity, not only do they hold their racks, time cycles for it. At the same time, Virtus Pro now. Like, they've still been farming the entire time. Echo Slam, Swindle, real trouble, FNG. They bring down the Storm Spirit. 
And now there's a big hole in complexity. There's 71 seconds. No buyback wait, on the storm. Wait, wait. And they're going for more down the mid. In fact, with a snowball in, can they find the opening? Illidan dodging it out. He makes a doppelganger away, but still losing life quickly. They're all behind him. God lining up the sonic wave. Hits them all, but the damage output. God wants fly. And now you'll set the rub. You're not be able to get him. Will there be time? God, the BKBs are protecting him. FNG moving in for support as well with the scream. God's doing it by himself. The snowball in. Z freak the blink away. God's gonna survive through all of this. In fact, he's denying himself up to center if he's, if he's not careful. There's a two for one trade off. Moon will be our bring a little evening the odds, but FNG trying to solve against the atmosphere for the slider fist. Dodging the Fisher. Complexity. They still hold the ground and they waste the time of Virtus Pro before the Storm Spirit was gonna come back up. Wait, okay, so I was I was trying to get a message through when that second fight broke out. Double damage. Game from that. He has to play on, on full efficiency, right? They jump. They're going up to Phobos. The pull back in with Laguna Blade. They find the pick off. Storm Spirit repairs a lot of what he lost by getting a thousand gold for that kill, but now he's not getting it out. The Echo Slam. FNG's in. Moon he needs to keep him alive. Swindle back in again. The Storm Spirit. He's doing the work. FNG's down. The Ember Max to jump us off back out. But Swindle needs more mana. Has enough. Back to the tree line. The stuff from Fly buying space. Z Freak also with shards and, and punch available is going to try and TP out. Minimal casualty is the goal right now from complexity. No more pickoffs, and in fact, there won't be any. Brood down, Earthshaker down, space once again being created by complexity. Some key kills here in the last 10 minutes, but. Real complexity. They shouldn't have found all these They're taking the first tier one tower, but Fly, the Observer Lord was watching him. He's not going to be able to Yule Scepter in time to get away, while Swindle as well as uh, Z. Yeah, they want to get out of here as well. I don't think Moon's going to be as lucky. They managed to hex him up. The shards actually making FNG walk around him. He will still drop. Popping the ulti at the last second, but now there's 70 seconds without an undying and 43 without the Lena. No buybacks available again. And it's actually crazy to take Amber, so he's got a little bit of extra damage as he jumps around and Searing chains up the, the creep wave. But the melee rise is low, the shards nice. Oh, lock with FNG once again. Perfect time from the Earthshaker. They need more, however, and they may just get an FNG dropping quickly. Flyer doing the work from the back lines, but Soul Rip that was sold by Rubik keeps up that Earthshaker. Two down, the Ember might have bought back, and they do keep on rampaging in. VP need more work. Moon on the front lines, fidget up. They're turning on him. The Glimmer Cape won't save you from this. He has to ulti, decay, Soul Rip, Anthic, Illidan, trapped again. Now the Ember coming back towards the front lines. They find the kill. The Storm Spirit goes down. VP now need to get out Skull Free if they can. No Fissure available, but all five heroes remain up for Virtus Pro. And that was a buyback from the Ember Spirit as well. Windle is, Windle's not even in base right now. He's still going to TP back. They may take the T1 tower on top lane. And Virtus Pro is successful defense at the moment. But look at Phobos inside the base, chasing after Fly. He's going to orchid him up and try and force Swindle to TP back. The tower is still going to be fortified. The catapult will take care of it. But Swindle needs this time to regenerate. He's bottling up as quick as he possibly can. And again, this side of Fist, they waited for Zs to come back. And now they found the opening with a Sonic Wave Moon. He's going to drop as well. It's two down. Z3 is going to join him with the Echo Slam. Just put the seal on the deal right now. Virtus Pro, they're all over complexity's base and maybe they're about to eliminate them. Even FNG surviving on 50 HP. It's a double raxing and complexity. We know they like to just hold on to the bitter end. But VP are about to claim Megas against Complexity. There are no buybacks on the four dead heroes of Complexity. And GG! Complexity will be eliminated from the International Five. And Virtus Pro keep them going through the lower bracket, the rough road to the grand final. Oh, this looks like it's hard on Swindle. I think he takes a lot of responsibility in that game. He had a really, really hard time on his Storm Spirit. I feel like the draft for them also wasn't this good this time around, so understandably he, he looks very frustrated there. And well, complexity came here to prove a point. They came yep. here and they said in the interview, like, first is the only thing that'll accept to be